Are you tired of these bad and boring looking textures? What about something like this? It's good looking, realistic and individual for each object. Well, my name is Giovanni and that's what we are doing today. This series is split into two parts. Today we will just focus on making the base texture of the wall and in the next episode we will then dive deeper into adding the grind and adding some graffiti. Before the video starts I just want to say that all the assets I'm using can be downloaded in the description. Okay, so in Substance Painter first let's create a new project by going to File New right here. First you can select a template, a texturing template, so you can select PBR Metallic Roughness or something like this, but I always leave it on select template because when we export the textures we can select a different template anyway. So now file, right here you can select your 3D model you want to texture, so click on select. Okay so right here I have this fbx model white underscore wall. I guess obj models work as well. Uh, fbx and obj models are the only ones that I used so far but for pipe or skatex maps you always use fbx models so just take this and click open. Uh, now to the document resolution. I always go with 2k, you can also go with 4k but I found 2k is the best resolution. Well, under the normal map format uh, I always have OpenGL selected. You can also select DirectX but I guess in Unity it doesn't matter because you have to fix the normal map anyways. So just click OpenGL and all the other settings doesn't really matter for me. You might change something but for me I just click OK and start. Ok this will load. And here you can see your FBX model. Like I already said, you can download this model in the description. So go ahead, do this. So before we can start texturing, we need to do two more things. First, we need to bake our mesh maps. So go here to your texture set settings. You can also, also find them by going to window toolbars I guess it's view and there you have texture set settings so click this if you don't have them and now right here go to your texture set settings and scroll down until you find bake mesh maps so go ahead and click this and now you can see this window here um, actually you don't need to think about anything just click bake ledge and it will automatically bake. So let's click this. So now just click OK. Now you can see the only thing that really changed something was the ambient occlusion map. Like you can see here, we now have shadows that were baked onto the object and this will give more realism. I guess for these objects ambient occlusion and the curvature maps are the only ones we need. So that's all we have to do. Okay so the next step we need to do is we need to think about how the textures should look. So what kind of object is it? How should it look? How would it be built in real life? So right here this object should be a wall with bricks and then just white painted. So of course we need bricks and bricks are mostly achieved with normal and height maps. Then I think it should be a bit grinded. So we need layers where we have grind. The wall in my opinion should be a bit older. So there might be some graffiti and some dirt and maybe some scratches and once you thought about this and you have an idea how the object should look we can start texturing our base map okay so once we know how it should look like let's start with our first code which would be the normal bricks 
So go to your layers again and first let's delete this layer because I don't need it. So press delete and now let's click on this button to create a new fill layer. Click this and let's call this layer bricks underscore normal. You will know how I call this normal later on. So right here we now disable every slot without the roughness, the normal and the height. So let's disable metallic and color. And now let's go to your textures tab where you can import all the textures you have. Um, so I have this brick texture here and I have the height map or the displacement map. I have a normal map here and I have the roughness map. So first let's start and drag our height map into the height map slot of our material. You can see it directly appears here. So let's also drag the normal map into here. You see we even have more detail. You can see here. And now let's drag our roughness into the roughness which doesn't change so much but you can see a bit of color variation here. But this doesn't look realistic. This looks like a basic wall but no wall in real life would look like this. So what we can do is we can change our projection mode from UV projection which basically means that if we change our viewport so we have our 2D here this is our UV map and now the texture just looks flat onto our UV map which means that it doesn't look that realistic but if we change it to triplanar projection it's projecting the texture from the sides and from the top to our object and it's just looking more realistic so let's make it like this and let's now go here let's first close this window again so go on top here and select 3d only now we can only see our 3d model and let's change the scale of our bricks to maybe 3.5 yeah this is looking good this might be a bit too big so let's change it to 3 yeah that works fine for me and now let's take our green arrow arrow here move it a bit like this so it's looking good and now let's select our blue arrow and move it so it is looking a bit better, maybe like this. This might look fine. And also right here, take the red arrow and move it maybe like this. Okay, so now it looks really realistic. But now we only have our roughness, the normal and the height map. So now we want to paint our brick. So we want to add a layer where the brick was painted. So let's add a new fill layer. Let's call this layer brick underscore paint or let's call it underscore color. Okay and so this brick color layer we disable everything except the color and the roughness. So disable metallic, normal and height. And now let's take this layer here and let's maybe select base color, make it a bit darker, maybe something like, let's make this layer completely white and let's make, let's play a bit with the roughness, make it a bit glossy, something like 0.5 might be okay good and now let's duplicate this layer so right click let duplicate let's call this brick underscore color 2 
uh, let's call this color underscore bar one because this now gets a bit of color variation so now we take the white color and we make it a bit more gray so let's just make it darker like this and let's make it a bit more matte not so a bit more rough not so glossy okay and now what we do is we add a black mask to it so go to this here this icon add mask and select add black mask okay and now you can see nothing is visible that's because everything is black so what we can do now is we have this black mask and we could paint with white color to make it visible like this but what I want to do is I add a generator and I click add fill to our mask so now our mask has a fill layer and we can now change here to make it more visible or not but let's make it completely black and now click here grayscale and we can now search for procedure here but what I want to do is I go here to procedurals on top of our texture tab and I take this clouds to texture and I just drag it onto here and now we can see we have sort of a bit color variations we can now change a bit the balance here and the contrast I like to have it very soft this okay so I guess the background is looking a bit too white so let's make it a bit darker yeah I guess this is looking fine okay so now what we have is the first layer how the wall would look when it, once it's completely new built but like I said, I want to make the wall a bit grinded, a bit older, some graffiti, some dirt. But um, first we're gonna organize this, so create a new group here. Select this icon, select and create a new folder and let's call this bricks. Okay, and let's drag it on top and now let's select all our layers we created by control clicking and drag them into our bricks folder so now they should be in your bricks folder and once you click this icon here you will just have one layer called bricks where you can find your bricks normals your first color and your second colors okay so let's make this small to keep everything organized that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and also subscribe so you won't miss the next part where we are going to make the grind and add some graffiti.